So one player that's going to be participating in the uh, upcoming cup is Doris. He hasn't had too many games on FAF, at least I haven't seen him. So it'll be nice to see how well he plays, but of course he is uh, known from the past of winning many tourneys. So he's the only one from Finland representing uh, Finland, I guess, if that matters. So you can see his build here, uh, two factories, four PGNs. That is a very low power build here, and he's playing UEF. Two mask extractors, usually the other mask extractors are taken, but we'll see what he does with the Hydro. He's taking on Funny Predator, extremely good player from back in the day. So this is 3599. And he's playing a Cybern. And you can see also here, uh, now you see five PGNs and two land factories. So very similar, but it looks like here Funny Predator is going to go down, perhaps maybe help. Well, he's probably not going to help in the Hydro. Very early NG to the Hydro. You can see absolutely no rating uh, so far from either player. Three Angie's out. Uh, now Mantis comes out. It's going to protect this Angie. You're looking for a mech marine trying to take out this Angie. And very similar here. You can see a scout from Duras looking for any rating from Funny Prayer. And actually here we see the Mantis. This is always nice to see a radar. makes a Mantis so much stronger. And he's just protecting this Angie for now. We see now this tank. And also see both players here using the radar. So tank and a mantis here looking at each other. And now we see funny predator going opposite the usual path that uh, ACUs take instead of going through the bottom. He's going through the top. This uh, mask structure is going to be taken quite late. Oh, we are seeing multiple land factories planned, but the third factory is going to be air from Duras. And we also see third air from funny predator, and he's making a gesture. He's also getting some lines, so very similar from both players. It's a pretty large force here. A few tanks could probably make a push. There's getting some more mask extractors, and perhaps we'll see the ACs. Actually, no. Funny Predator's ACU also does the, the unorthodox and goes the other direction. And here's an NG from Funny Predator uh, going into the ocean. Not clear why. He also has the same deal going to the other ocean. And here comes a Jester. Perhaps the Jester wants to take out, yes. So Funny Predator is going to use this very early Jester to kill civilians. Here comes the Interceptor fight. Early air from Duras and Predator. And here is Duras ACU, the EF ACU, marching in on uh, Funny Predator's base. You can see the response from uh, Funny Predator. He comes back. He's going to defend his base with the ACU. You can see this gesture successfully takes out down there and it takes out the PD and the NG is on its way. See more land factories. We already see the sixth land factory being constructed by Doris. There is just spamming T1. Ares paused for uh, funny predators. It looks like Ares controlled by Doris. Uh, Doris might be in a little bit of trouble running toward the ocean. He's taking on ACU. Supported by about 10 Mantis. Actually a lot more Mantis coming in. So. There he's got to run straight for the water and we might see some blocking. You can see the micro here. These mantis, if you can get them between Duras and uh, the water, you might keep them from uh, getting out. Actually five kills here for Duras going down to 2k health. This could be very close. 1k health and actually 100. Uh, so a couple more shots. Actually one more shot from the ACU. One and a half more shot and Duras was dead. So this gesture completes its mission. Now it's coming back and it might just get, yeah, so right move from Funny Party is going to go around. And you can see here 400 health for Duras is walking back. Didn't really do much to this base, just kind of get hit. But it did get 8 kills in the Mantis, but the Rex are left over. You see Funny Party are uh, looking for him. He really doesn't want Duras hanging out and trying to come back in. And now we see a fight. Mantis versus tanks, and if the, it looks like Mantis might have the numbers, the tanks are retreating. Yeah, if Mantis get around on you like that, you're pretty much screwed, and they do have numbers. So a lot of dead units here that perhaps one of the players can send NGs, funny predator. So still T1 air belongs to Doris here in minute 7. How these Mantis keep on rolling through, but it, uh, these T1 tanks did get some reinforcements. This might not be the best move, but yeah, these, they're not fighting at the same time. Very good Mantis from uh, Funny Predator. 
yeah, now they're going to retreat, so the the right thing to do. Actually, left a little bit of Rex here, and now here come T1 Bombers from uh, Duras. So, so far this game we've seen Duras be very balanced in terms of air and land, and this is 3599, so we might expect even more in 3599, in 3603, in terms of using air. And here comes the gesture. This one's just a civilian killer. It's going to take out the anti-air and the PD. You want to do this secretly, of course, the other island has already been spotted by Duras. We do see a tech one point defense plus going to be a tech one anti air. And here come multiple gestures, but they're going to get shot by Duras. He's trying to protect the civilians. Did take out the anti air, however, the PD is still alive. And these two forces, the tanks versus Mantis, are building up. Of course, these bombers here continue to bomb. They're flying over flak, uh, getting taken out. So, quite a few flak in this force from Funny Predator. These numbers are quite even. But now reinforcements from Duras. You might think about pushing. Now Duras ACU is now back on land at 2k health. No upgrades. He's just going to stand in this position. He does have about 10 tanks on the left choke point and quite a few here on the right. Neither player really wanting to push. Funny prayer not getting an upgrade. Could be the gun with, uh, with Cybern. And now we're actually seeing this uh, island from Funny Predator getting demolished by T1 bombers. You see a lot of T1 bombers here from Duras. Do we see a transport yet? That's the question. No transport and no NG walking toward that island. And I'll push through the top channel from uh, Funny Predator. Plus some raiding, which is just going to leave some wrecks. So this island is now free of anybody. Uh, good work from Duras. And now we're seeing Duras ACE is going to try to use it again. Try to help out the top choke point. And on the bottom it's still a standoff. It looks like some of these RD are moving in. They probably should stop before they run into the Mantis. Yeah. You can see they are having some, some success. This will draw a few of the Mantis forward, but now they retreat once again. So. You see that was a good idea from Duras, and actually he's built up quite a force and now moving up. But a few of those already he's got a little too close to the Mantis. Got to note, note there's a radar here from uh, Duras. He is constructing more radar. As soon as he gets that radar he can think about pushing. But now here comes the funny prayer. He definitely has the gun. So this force here has to full retreat, otherwise it's just going to be a lot of kills for this ACU. It doesn't look like Duras is responding. Yes, and now he is retreating. Of course on the other side we do see a push. This will be nice from Doris. Take out that radar. Yeah. And now, yeah, full retreat from Doris. Uh, pushing with the ACU for Funny Predator. He does have some NGs in the air. He's going to try to get some of that mass. No T2 from either player yet. And now an NG from uh, Doris finally makes it to the island. Both islands are free except this one. Yeah, this one still has a T2PD, so you want to kill that T2PD before you go there. The funny Predator is going to get out of the water. He's got full health, 13 kills in the gun. And it, it's not clear whether or not he has stealth. I don't think he has stealth. He does not have stealth. It's a very cheap upgrade and very useful. On the other side, we do see some fighting with uh, Duras pushing forward. But very even numbers. But good rating. Try to control some of those uh, mask extractors. But here's a PD. Some Artie here to take that out. A good defense here from Funny Predator taking out the Artie. He's going to try to defend this PD. And on the bottom, the push continues. Funny Predator teasing. Get some of these units to pull forward. And uh, this is going to be a loss for Duras since Funny Predator does have the ACU helping out. 43 kills already for this ACU. This is very nice. A Duras sitting in the water, not getting any upgrades. One thing to note about Duras very minimal power, almost no power. That's gonna have to be changed for FAF. Perhaps you already changed because you do need a lot of power to use your overcharge just to build up 5,000 power every time you want to shoot. Even if you have four power stores, you want to have a lot of excess power. But you can see how minimal this is. This is no longer a viable strategy in 3603. Now uh, we can see here marching on 56 kills for a funny predator. 
also some Soren, or in case Fani uh, tries to run into the water. And it's a very even fight here, Mantis versus uh, Strikers. Absolutely all T1 all game here at minute 16. Really one big upgrade has been on Predator's ACU. And it did uh, win him quite a bit of uh, mass. Actually, here's Duris with his ACU getting some of this mass. Can maybe take out that Raider. Be nice to take out that NG. He also has. Uh, actually, both players have pretty nice air forces. Here's a pushback from Funny Predator, and this raiding force looks to be getting killed, but it's going to try to rendezvous with uh, Duris ACU. And this is getting to be a very large G1 force from Duris. But of course, as, as long as Funny Predator stays by the coast, he is relatively safe. And now we can see a move from Funny Predator. He's going to no longer stay here. He's going to try to raid some of those other mass extractors. And that is going to get a push from... Um, that's a lot of T1 bombing from Duris. And Duris is going to try to move back. That's going to get a little more kills from Funny Predator now at 60. And actually, where is Funny Predator's ACU? He lost that one force, and he's going into the water. He's going to try to get a factory. He's going to try to get some torpedoes in the water. And 70 kills for Funny Predator. And uh, actually, perhaps going into the island might be the best move for Funny Predator here. I have not seen this game, so I have no idea whether or not that happened, but so far it's been very good. It's a very important NG about to get killed from Funny Predator. Got a lot of mass. So let's see, minute 18. Funny Predator has reclaimed 5,200 so far, 3,200 for uh, Duras, so 2,000 advantage for Funny Predator. Now we are seeing T2 Air from uh, and Corsairs from Funny Predator. Absolutely, actually want T2 Mask Extractor here. Multiple T2 Mask Extractors from Duras as well. So, so these players did spend a little in terms of teching up, and uh, you can see this successful raid. From this force from a uh, funny priority, he's killed off four mask extractors that are gonna have to be rebuilt, but now push back from uh, Duris. And you can see funny predator prevented that factory from being built, and the factory being built by funny predator in the water. And you can see funny predator splitting up his forces, still very even numbers, but quite a few here from uh. Duris and he is going to be pushing, so this will be a pretty big battle. Not much in terms of micro, it seems like, and now uh, Duris is going to pull back. You can see these reinforcements and some T2 bombers now coming in. Extremely good against uh, large amounts of units back together. So those Corsairs are going to have a big effect on the game. Now it looks like Doris is going to push with his ACU, it's still just T1. see a lot of reclaiming here from Funny Predator, he's been getting a lot more reclaiming this game. And now this uh, force here, if it keeps on getting bombed by T2 bombers, is going to be overrun by the Mantis. We also see a pretty large force here from Doris not being used. And it looks like Funny Predator is moving across, he's going to try to help out his ACU now perhaps changed his mind, is going to try to build the torpedo launcher directly in the middle of this pond, so he's going to cover most of this pond. And an air fight that looks like a funny predator is winning, he does have a lot of flak in his force. It's a lot of uh, anti-air, so it's nice to have air fights if you're a funny predator right over here. And here comes some T1 subs, so it's no longer safe for Duris in the water. Here comes the T1 uh, torpedo launcher. Duris is going to get out of the water. So no T2 yet from... T2 land would be actually really nice from Duris, but it looks like he is just spamming. It's very it's very uh, dangerous to go T2, about 800 mass. That does count uh, 16 tanks. And that's like a... That could make the difference for you if you're in one of these large... Tech one battles, and here comes Funny Prayer. And now with 70 kills, he's going to push. Duris is going to have to come back, but of course, he is. It looks like he is getting bombed. Yeah, Duris is getting bombed by these T2 bombers, but now these should get taken out. You might see a retreat. Now, Funny Prayer once again teasing this force, trying to get a response, but Duris is not uh, going to bite. 
and now we're seeing all these undefended uh, transports or undefended mass extractors getting raided by Duras. A good move from Duras. Got to remember those subs in the water. And this top island here has been reclaimed by Funny Predator. He has radar, he has Tech 1 PDs. So good raiding here from uh, Duras. Takes out one mass extractor. Does not get the second, but yeah, it looks like it'll be a good defense from Funny Predator. And a lot of mass here. You can see an NG from Duras trying to get some of that mass. The ACU at 73 kills from Funny Predator. One stop mass as well. And there goes the NG. Duras walking toward the water. He's going to check if there's subs, maybe. Nope changes his mind once again. So now we're seeing some transports from Duras. Perhaps he wants to drop something. And we are seeing T2. T2 land from uh, Duras. He's getting shields. He's getting T2 flak. So that's good protection against those bombers. And we're going to see plans for a naval factory from Duras as well. And here comes a... Uh, yeah, he's going to try to drop this island. He's got to drop outside the range of that tech one point defense. And uh, Predator here now at uh, 89 kills keeps on harassing this large force from Duras and the response from Duras but funny gets into the water it's a successful uh, harassment now oh, funny's gonna get out of the water once again I continue getting kills now 100 kills you can see with this gun and the overcharges you can get a lot of kills very quickly when you know it's a pack like that see 108 kills I'll try to take out yes another torpedo launcher has been taken out we also see T2 land from Funny Predator and uh, yeah it looks like Duras now is doesn't want to take this uh, harassment anymore he's gonna push against this force he might actually be successful on the stop side but the bottom side is all uh, Funny Predator and you can see here numbers pay off for Duras even though they lost about 20 here to the ACU 124 kills Duras now is uh, does have the sights of uh, Funny Predator's base. If he just continues to push, there's some very valuable targets, some T2, some power. But on the other side, we see Duras in quite a bit of trouble. And here come this is where the oh, this will be extremely close, 26. And here come the shields. They're not there in time. So Duras got himself in trouble. He was next to a coast that was protected by. Uh, by some uh, submarines so he could no longer go into the water to save himself and actually if you push these uh, T2 forces a little earlier perhaps he could have survived but I did not happen so good work with this uh, Navy from Funny Predator of course now we're seeing this massive push by Fr Funny Predator if it wasn't successful it would have been very bad for uh, Funny Predator here because he had a large force just moving in on his base so you can see that gamble. It was actually a checkmate by Funny Predator. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game.